So today I'm going to set this uh, little Danforce pressure control up uh, at the shop. I'm just going to set it to uh, the pressures that we need for the cut in and cut out and the HP to uh, what we need in the field to save a bit of time and just to make sure that it's spot on without wasting too much time on site. So I'll just quickly go through it. So basically um, the LP side of it's pretty straightforward to set the um, the pressure control up properly and it's it's basically you cut in minus your differential so if you've got it set at 200 uh, kPa and your differential is 100 kPa it's going to cut in at 200 kPa and cut out at 100 kPa. So when you're doing this it's always important to uh, set your cut in first which is the uh, pressure switches back on and then set your differential, otherwise you're always going to be chasing your tail. So we'll go ahead and set our cut-in pressure first. So we'll go in and see if we've got our cut-in at the right pressure. We've got what's all about 180 kPa. cut-ins up. KPA. Now we'll just drop some pressure out and see where the uh, differential cuts are. At. It's pretty much spot on. So now we're just going to go ahead and do the same for the uh, HP. So the HP we're going to have to set, set it at about 2700 KPA. So we'll go ahead and see where it's going to cut in and out at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and check our uh, HP cuts out um, at the right pressure. So our LP is made and the HP is going to open circuit if the pressure gets too high. So we'll go ahead and um, see where it cuts out at. and open circuit. So the HP is set as well. Yeah, it should be auto reset, so once that pressure drops back down again, it should um, make circuit. There we go. Spot on. It's ready to go.